Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to cover driving directions out to Tierra Verde Ranchettes. Uh, this video is going to be posted basically on all of our listing pages for Tierra Verde Ranchettes from now until the end of time. So it's really going to cover the first 95% of the journey, uh, which of course will be enumerated in all these stills. It's going to be turn by turn directions in all these stills. The final one or two stills will cover whatever the final you know, right turn, left turn, drive straight type of directions that we have for the specific property. But what you're about to watch are going to be turn by turn directions that will walk you through really the first 95% of this journey. So first off, it's worth noting that here on the map, just south of Highway 53 is the Tierra Verde Ranchette subdivision. It's about 4,500 acres. It's uh, pretty rural, number one, and number two, the roads, quote unquote, that will get you out here. Most of them do not have names. If they do have names, uh, different mapping apps will identify them differently. So what we have found is that Google Maps is not reliable to get out here. Various mapping apps are also not reliable. So we like to provide these turn by turn directions to help you guys, whether you purchase the property or whether you're just going out to scout it. Whatever the case, uh, there are two entrances into Tierra Verde. The first is a western entrance over here, which will bring you into Unit 1. Now, we don't like to give driving directions in through this way because there's a rancher out here who has multiple gates barring access to the subdivision in this region. And uh, our understanding is even if we got the gate code, even if we got the key to the padlock, uh, he changes them fairly regularly, like every six months or so. So if you buy this property in August, there's no guarantee that these codes are going to hold up, you know, in February when you go out to the property. So the way that we like to give directions to the land, the way that is actually easier and actually turns out to be closer to the subject properties than approaching from the west is the eastern approach, which is up here off the 53 at this road, Cibola County 42. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to direct your attention to the photo gallery that we have at the bottom of this page. And if you go through these stills one by one, this is going to take you on that journey. So the first thing is uh, turn off Highway 53 at Cibola County Road 42. So if you're coming from the east, you're making a left turn. If you're coming from the west, you're making a right turn. Now, the thing that you see when you enter there is going to be this sort of cattle guard, this entrance right here. This is what you see as you pull off Highway 53. So if you've pulled off to some, some turn off there and you're not seeing this, you're in the wrong spot. You got to get back on the highway. You got to find basically this. This is what you want to see as you venture off into Tierra Verde. So now we're going to drive south, roughly about 6.7 miles. And I'd encourage you really to follow this on your odometer. Uh, the exact mileage, it should bear out. It should come pretty close. Uh, point is, you're going to go 6.7 miles south. And along that southern journey, uh, you're going to see some, some landmarks that we have here in the video. Now, it should be noted as you're driving six miles south or whatever, you're probably going to feel at some point like, have I gone too far? Did I miss it? Whatever. So just to be clear, you'll see signs like this and this and this, and you'll see this thing. And eventually you're going to come to a fork in the road. And uh, there is a sort of hillside, a sort of mountainside over here called Cerro Americano. This thing really announces itself uh, when you get to it. So that fork in the road looks like this. And this is Cerro Americano. Uh, when you reach this fork in the road, of course, you're going to want to stay to your right. To be clear, you've been on Cibola County Road 42. Uh, that goes off to your left. So you want to stay to the right. And then it should be noted that there's actually a road sign here. It's one of the few you're going to see. But this is Cerro Americano Road. So stay to your right. You really want to hug this mountainside here along Cerro Americano Road. Anyway, from here, you're going to drive uh, about a half a mile southwest. You're going to encounter another fork in the road. And at that fork, you're going to want to stay to your right. That fork looks like this. So left is bad, right is good. Stay to your right. Okay. Uh, from there, you're going to go eight tenths of a mile until you reach another fork in the road. And at that fork, you're going to want to stay to your left. So that fork looks like this. And, you know, this left and right side thing, this may look like you know, how much could these two possibly diverge? But I promise you, some of these will take you off 10 miles in the wrong direction. So there is a big difference between going left and right here. So stay to your left. And finally, once you take that just a little ways, you're going to arrive at the entrance to Tierra Verde. Uh, to be clear, the entrance looks like this. There's some fencing here, but there is no gate. So it's very easy to get through this. And then you have the official welcome sign, which, yes, looks like this. Anyway, from here, now, it should be clear, the 
roughly 10 or 12 mile route that you just took, you weren't in this subdivision yet. You were outside the subdivision. You have now just entered here at unit seven. And now we're gonna work our way into the main area. So from here, from the entrance, you're gonna drive 0.36 miles until you come to a three-way fork in the road. Now, as we write here, there's gonna be numerous forks along the way here. These, however, will basically lead you back to this trail. So whether you go right or left here or right or left here, it all comes back to, to this basic east-west road, okay? Anyway, once you do that, then you're gonna to come to a three-way fork where you'll see a power line. The power line's gonna be down here. Now you're gonna bang a sharp right. You could do it up here or you could drive down close to the power line. Either way, you're gonna be going in the correct direction. Do not make a left. Do not continue to the left or to the south, okay? Next. Oh, by the way, here's an illustration of that power line. Um, next, then you're gonna drive 0.18 miles until you come to another fork in the road. Uh, at that fork, stay to your right along the path you've been on. Do not turn left, okay? So left turn bad, right turn good. This is what that area looks like. Just keep going this way. Next, uh, you're gonna drive 0.13 miles until you come to a fork in the road. At that fork, you'll stay left. And again, this is one of these areas where if you go off to the right, you're gonna end up lost somewhere else. So please stay to the left. And that is then going to lead you onto this path. Uh, continue on this road, roughly 0.14 miles until you come to another fork in the road. And at that fork, stay to your right. That's what this one looks like. Uh, stay to right at the fork. This will lead you to one of the main roads in the Tierra Verde subdivision. It's called Camino de Agua Vida. And once you get here, uh, then you're going to be able to enter off into the Tierra Verde subdivision, and you're going to be able to navigate your way to whatever individual property you're looking for. Now, to be clear, all the, all the stills that I just went through are all posted here at the bottom of this listing page. The last one or two stills will uh, discuss the exact turn-by-turn -turn directions to whatever specific property in Tierra Verde you're looking at. Uh, whatever the case, this video is just meant to kind of explain the first 95% of the journey. Uh, hope you found it helpful. Hope you found it useful. Hope you're able to queue it up on your phone and kind of watch it as you go out to the property. Good luck on your scout. Thanks for watching.